This video is going to show you how to properly insert and eject a USB flash drive on your computer and give a brief tutorial on copying files to and from your flash drive. I'm now going to insert a USB drive into my computer into a free USB slot and you should hear kind of a bump bump noise. Then you'll see a pop-up, typically, depends on how your system is configured. If you've ever selected this, always do this for pictures option, then you may not see this pop-up. Those of you who are familiar with this pop-up and the various options that are available on it, probably don't need to watch the rest of this video because you're already familiar with the task that this video covers. I'm not going to use any of these options here, and I'm going to do things manually. So I will go ahead and close this by clicking on the red X. But do notice that I have a Kingston UR drive as drive D. That's an important thing to make a note of. So if you do see this pop up, that's one thing you should make a note of. If you don't see the pop up, don't worry about it because there are other ways to find the same information. So I'm going to close the pop up. Now, depending on the type of operating system you're running, many people are still running XP, some people are running Vista, some people are running 7, some people are running 8. And by that I mean Windows 7, Windows 8, and, and Windows Vista. The basic principles are the same. How you get there are a little bit different. So Windows 7, you have down here this little folder sort of icon. And if you right-click on it, you have this thing called Windows Explorer. And if you left-click on that, it opens up this basic window that shows you all of your libraries. The window is a little bit small. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it a little better. And as you can see, we're not seeing everything because there's some scroll bars on this side that we can move. But this is your various libraries. So the first thing we want to do is look in the left-hand side and look under Computer and see that the flash drive is installed. Now we know from the pop-up that it was a Kingston flash drive. If the pop-up had not occurred, then you would kind of have to know what type of flash drive that you put into your system. And it's typically marked on the flash drive or you maybe remember it from the packaging or whatever. You can left click on that and it will show you the current contents of the flash drive. Now to eject a flash drive, many people just yank the flash drive out of the system. And that's really not a good behavior because Windows has a procedure called delayed write. And what it means is that if you've tried to copy files to your USB drive, Windows may be waiting for the CPU to have a few more free cycles before it actually performs that task. And if you yank the USB drive out before that task is complete, you could end up with corrupted files and other problems. So you really don't want to just always yank your USB drive out of your machine. You want to use one of the two primary options for setting the USB drive up for proper ejection. And by that, I mean that the, any files that are in the process of being written are finalized. So one way of doing that is to come over here and right click on the USB drive and you would then left click on eject. And we'll do that. And then you'll see a little message pop up on your screen. It's not showing up in the area that I'm capturing right now, but it basically says safe to remove hardware. It occurs over on the right hand side on the bottom part of your screen. So I can now pull this USB drive out quite safely. All the files have been closed and written and no damage can occur to them. I'm now going to put it back in again. The same pop-up appears that we saw before. And again, I'm just going to close it. And I'm now going to show you another way of, show, of determining what type of flash drive you have. And for Windows 7, you would left click on Start, and then you would go up to My Computer. And other operating systems based on Windows are fairly similar. So you would left click on Computer. And this is basically the exact same window we had before, or at least very similar to it. You can notice now the Kingston drive is actually over here in the middle part, and it's also over here on the left hand side. This is typical Microsoft where they give you four or five ways to achieve exactly the same ultimate goal. So if I double click on 
this item here, I'm right back where I was before, where I'm seeing the contents of what's on the flash drive. And again, if I wanted to eject it, I would just right click on the drive on the left hand side and I'd click eject. I'm not going to eject it at this point. We've already been through that once. So now we're going to talk a little bit about how do you move files back and forth. So I'm going to arbitrarily pick a file from this flash drive and I'm going to copy it to my computer. So I'm going to make this window a little smaller and I'm going to open another instance of Windows Explorer and I'm going to bring it down so that you can see it. It's a little crowded but you can pretty much see what's going on here. So on the left we have our flash drive selected on the left and the contents of the flash drive are on the right and in Windows 7 I right clicked on this little icon down here and I, select, I left clicked on Windows Explorer. And that's one way of doing this. I'll show you another way. Now, this is a picture, and you can tell that by the JPEG extension. So I want to move it to my pictures library or copy it to my pictures library. So I'm going to come over here and double click with the left mouse button on my pictures library. And I've got quite a bit of folders here. I'm going to use the training folder, which I've previously created. If you needed to create a new folder, you could right click in any blank area, like right here, and you would see new, and you're not seeing it because it's not part of the area that I'm capturing, but one of the options for new is folder. And also if this window was bigger, let me make it a little bit bigger, you might see the other way of creating a new folder. And there it is right there, new folder. So this is the easier way to do it. So you can either right click and you can do new and you can do folder. This time you're seeing the whole thing. That's a little bit more tedious or you can just click new folder. I'm going to resize this window so that we can see both things again. I'm going to go down to the training folder. Again, we left click twice on the training folder. And as you can see, this is actually the same file, AFDJPEG. So I'm going to delete this file by left-clicking on it to select it, right-clicking on it, and some of what's popped up you're not seeing, but you're seeing the critical part, which is the delete option right here. And I can click delete, and then I'll get another message that says, do I really want to delete the file? So that's one way of doing it. Another way to do it is to make sure it's selected and then you can just hit the delete key and that will bring up the same option and at this point I'm going to answer yes so now this training folder up here in the pictures library remember we're in libraries pictures now libraries is a Windows 7 and Windows 8 thing if you're using Windows XP you only have my documents and then under my documents it's kind of up to you to create separate folders for pictures, videos, music, or the other types of files that you want to store there. The end result is the same, it's just that they didn't do it for you to begin with. And some people have done that and, and others have elected to just put everything into my documents. Uh, really your own personal preference. So right now I have um, this pictures folder and I've got, it's in the, sorry, in the pictures library and the pictures folder is here and it's empty. And I'm going to go to the left here, and I'm going to drag and drop this picture over here. And there's the picture. And you can see it's bringing up a little thumbnail of it right there. So that's using drag and drop. Again, I'm going to delete this picture. Answer yes. Another way of doing it would be to select the picture and go to Edit, Copy, move over to the place that you want it to go, in this case, this area here. You want to make this the active window, and by making it the active window, that's where any action you perform is going to take place. To make it the active window, you simply left-click on the window. Notice how the color changes. If I left-click on the left one, it changes color. If I left-click on the right one, it changes color. That tells you which one is active. Then I can go to Edit, and I can go to Paste. And you do not want to do Paste Shortcut because that simply creates a pointer to the other file. You actually want to 
paste the entire file. So again, that's edit, paste. So that's the two ways of doing it, drag and drop, and copy and paste. So that's assuming that you've got a file on your flash drive that you wanted to put on your computer. So let's do the opposite now. Let's delete the file from the flash drive. I've highlighted it. I click delete. I answer yes. The file is now gone from the flash drive, as you can see. Then I go over to the location that the file exists in, and I'm going to walk you through this again just to be sure you're confident of this. I've closed that. We're using Windows 7. Windows 8 is very similar. We go down here to this little yellow icon. We right-click on it. We left-click on Windows Explorer. And the good news is it typically brings up exactly the same size window that you had before. So once you've set it up the way you like it, it'll always come up that way until you change it. I'm going to be bringing in a picture. Now remember, we're moving the picture from the computer to the flash drive at this point. So in this case, using Windows 7 or Windows 8, I'm going to go to Libraries, Pictures. If you're using Windows XP, you're going to have My Documents, and you may or may not have created a Pictures folder under it. It's kind of up to you to figure out where you've stored things. So I'm going to click on Pictures, and I'm going to scroll down to the Training folder. Select it with the left mouse button by clicking once and then double clicking to take me in. And again, remember our ultimate goal is to place a copy of this picture on our flash drive. So on the right hand side here, this is the computer. This is our pictures library. I'll make it bigger again so you can see it. It's libraries, pictures, training. This is the actual computer, the file on the computer itself. And we want to put it on the flash drive, which is this window here. So I'll resize this window. Hopefully I picked the right one. And I didn't. So we'll try that again. There we go. And this time I think I have the right one. Okay. Again, our ultimate goal is to take a picture from our computer and copy it to our flash drive. We can do drag and drop by left clicking, dragging, and then letting go of the mouse button and the picture gets copied over. The other option, I'm going to delete this picture. Answer yes. And the other option is to go back and make this on the right hand side, which remember is my computer. These are files on my computer. Select what I want to copy. Edit. Copy. Come back over here, make this the active window. Edit. Paste. And there the file appears. So that's the basics of moving files back and forth between a USB drive and a computer. I'm going to go ahead and close both of these windows now and remind you of the various ways that you can eject the flash drive safely. So the first way is if we go back to Windows Explorer Bring this to the left to make it a little bigger. We would scroll down to the My Computer area. Again, if it's minimized, you need to maximize it. You would select the flash drive, you would right click on it, and you would click Eject. Now, by the way, if you have DVDs or CDs in your system or any other removable media, you can use exactly the same methodology for ejecting them. So let's say I was playing a DVD and I wanted to eject it. My DVD drive would show up over here, and I would be able to eject that DVD by right-clicking on its representation here and click Eject, and the DVD would get ejected. Same thing for a CD. So if you're ever having problems punching a little button on your CD DVD drive and you can't get the thing to eject, this is another way to do it that's actually a little bit easier and a little less fiddly. Now the other way I can show you a representation of but because I'm capturing the bottom left-hand portion of my screen, I can't actually show it in process. So I've brought over a screenshot of the bottom right-hand side of what's known as kind of the status bar and taskbar. And these are all the icons that you'll see on the bottom right of your computer. Notice the clock is always the one on the farthest right unless you've rearranged them. 
uh, we have the wireless indicator here. We have the system status. I've got Skype running, a variety of other things going on, Microsoft Security Essentials, and so on. I'm not going to run you through all of them. The important one is the one right here. And it looks kind of like the end of a USB cable, and it's got a little check mark on it. Now, what you can do is by left clicking on this and maybe right clicking on it, the behavior seems to be very inconsistent from one PC to the next and one operating system to the next. But eventually what you'll see is a little pop-up will appear above it and it will say safely eject and it'll show you everything in your computer that's ejectable. And you want to be very careful and pick the one that represents your flash drive and eject it. And again, you'll see the message that says it is now safe to remove that device. But because this is just a picture of that actual procedure, I can't actually click on this and do anything. So I'm going to close this and we're going to go back to our other way of doing it, which is left click on this to open it up. Or if you like better, right click Windows Explorer. They both do a very similar thing. And Microsoft is notorious for having multiple ways of achieving exactly the same behavior. On the left hand side, I'm going to select my USB drive by left clicking on it. I'm now going to right click on it. I am going to do eject. And on the bottom right hand side of my screen, which you're not seeing, it says safe to remove hardware in the Kingston drive and it can now be safely removed from the computer. And this concludes this particular video. Thank you.